Aloha, my name is Nikki, and I am an eighth grade student on the big island of Hawaii, and I have a mission. My mission is to create a plastic-free island. My motto is just refuse plastic. What are plastic bottles made out of? The most commonly used type of plastic is known as polyethylene terephthalate, also known as PET or PET. A plastic bottle, regardless of being PET or not, takes more than 450 years to decompose. More than 82 million metric tons of polyethylene terephthalate is produced globally each year to make single-use beverage bottles, packaging, clothing, and carpets, and is one of the largest sources of plastic waste. In 1960, the U.S. alone created 360,000 tons of waste. At that time, the population of the U.S. was a little over 180 million. That means each person produced only a little over four pounds of annual waste. By 1970, the U.S. produced almost three million tons of waste, and the population of the U.S. was 203 million. Each person produced about 28 pounds of plastic waste per year. By 2018, the population of the U.S. was 326 million people, and we created more than 35 million tons of plastic waste which is about 215 pounds of plastic waste per person per year. How did this happen? We became more reliant on plastic and our lifestyle and habits changed. Many of you might have heard of the 3R framework, reduce, reuse, and recycle. This concept made us feel a little better about continuing and increasing our consumption of plastic water bottles. However, if you go to 3rinitiative.org, you will learn a secret that I just learned that almost no one knows. This framework was created by water bottle manufacturers themselves, including companies such as Nestle and Danone. This is all misleading. It appears that this turned out to be a manipulative strategy made by plastic manufacturers and big oil companies to make us, the consumers, feel less guilty about buying plastics. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the truth is, only less than 9% of plastics gets recycled every year. I quote from an article on PlasticNews.com. As of 2020, California's top law enforcement agency is launching an investigation into whether the petrochemical industry deceived the public over plastic recycling, and its first action was to subpoena ExxonMobil Chemical Company. I propose the following solutions. Number one, work with the municipal water companies to test their water quality and build trust with the consumer and educate them as to the quality of their drinking water. Number two, if they still don't trust municipal water or if the quality of this water is not acceptable, we need to find a way for people to install filters in their own homes. Number three, for public locations such as school, community buildings, or other public spaces, we need to provide filtered water bottle filling stations. We've installed units in a couple of schools in Waimea, and next week we will install at some in Kona. With funds provided by our donors, we bought the first 10 reverse osmosis self-contained water bottle filling stations, capable of serving 500 people per day. We bought them from a company that started in the island of Oahu. Next, we will create larger reverse osmosis systems for heavily visited areas such as the airport. We would like to find a way to subsidize small entrepreneurs so there are many water filling stations around the island. We are planning to continue the effort until everyone in the island has fresh, clean drinking water. Once we achieve this goal, there will be virtually no need to buy plastic water bottles, with a small exception of an emergency. At this point, we will start working with policy. I have just reached out to a Hawaii state representative, Sean Quinlan, and his office, and I have an appointment in the next few days to discuss how students like myself can collaborate with his office to pass the bill. Here's some information about the bill published in local journals in February 2022. Lawmakers are considering a bill that would ban plastic bottles in Hawaii over the next two to three years. 
If passed, it would be illegal to manufacture, distribute, or sell single-use plastic water bottles smaller than 16 ounces by 2024, and bottles 16 ounces or more the following year. Hawaii State Representative Sean Quinlan, who introduced the bill, said society is addicted to plastic. The goal of the law, to shift our throwaway culture mindset to protect our health and environment. We are finding plastic all over our beaches and all over our waterways and our ocean, Quinlan explained. When we dissect sea turtles, we find plastic in their stomach. And a study just came out. It showed that we have found microplastics in women's placentas. It's very scary. According to Reuters, every week, each of us consumes five grams of plastic. That's about the same weight as a plastic bottle cap and enough shredded plastic to fill a porcelain soup spoon. Every month, each of us consumes 21 grams of plastic. That's about the same weight as five casino dice and enough shredded plastic to half fill a rice bowl. Every six months, each of us consumes 125 grams of plastic. That's enough yellow shredded plastic flakes to fill a cereal bowl, as pictured below. Every year, we consume 250 grams of plastic. That's a heaped dinner plate's worth of shredded plastic, as pictured below. Every 10 years, each of us consumes 2.5 kilograms of plastic, which is five and a half pounds. Reuters did not have enough shredded plastic to weigh in order to visualize this comparison. However, a standard life buoy weighs 2.5 kilograms, so we found one of those. In our lifetime, each of us consumes 20 kilograms of plastic, which is about 44 pounds. The average human lives for 79 years. Using the current estimate of microplastic in our diets and assuming the situation doesn't improve or worsen, that equals to 20 kilograms of plastic consumption. I just learned what MSW means. It's the acronym for municipal solid waste, which means trash. This chart shows the different types of trash that went into the landfill in 2018 in the US. As you can see, plastics are 18% of all landfill, and therefore the second largest component of all the landfill in the US. However, most of the other ones are compostable, which means they will disintegrate into non-toxic natural elements. However, plastics, as we just learned, takes 450 years to decompose, which basically means it's not decomposable. On December 31st, a 2019 Reuters article reads, people could be ingesting the equivalent of a credit card of plastic a week. A recent study by WWF International concluded mainly in drinking water, but also via sources like shellfish, which tend to be eaten whole, so the plastic in their digestive systems is also consumed. Plastic is found everywhere, in our bodies, the environment, and in animals. We have to stop this. Please join our movement. Just refuse plastic.